Hi there and welcome back to Antiques Trade Secrets. Um, I often buy things because I like them. Today I bought something because I absolutely love it. Uh, and so I'm giving over a whole video to just one item today. Uh, it's uh, something I bought in a local antique centre for the princely sum of £16. It was priced at 20 and advertised as an artist chair. What I've actually bought myself, I think, is a late Victorian, possibly early Edwardian child's chair. Uh, folding child's chair at that and I'm just going to take you through what I love about it but also how you can tell when wood small furniture wood items are of period are of their age have not been aged up or are not uh, vintage made to look old but have genuine wear genuine age and if you come over here I'll talk you through why I love it so much so what we've got first of all is a chair made of oak um, we can tell it's oak because of the grain we can tell the age, particularly because of the fantastic patina, the wear, the genuine wear that's on the top here. That's uh, one thing that takes time, it's fingers, it's rub, it's age. Um, the next thing is the wear on the feet. I'm just gonna turn it up this way. And hopefully you can see here, the natural wear, the small indentations on the feet, on the end posts here. And particularly what I loved is just, where's it gone, just here, down the edge where it's actually worn from fingers and from rubbing uh, there there's a particularly good spot um, the next thing I look at closely with an older piece of furniture is the way it's constructed what we've got here are small nails now these nail heads you may think this is getting a bit obsessive but the nail heads are uh, they've got some age and they have a cross pattern which means it's a, an aged nail it's fairly old these brass studs here and up here are another sign of uh, sort of Victorian Edwardian construction. But here's the thing that sold it to me. If I bought it for one part of the chair, it's this. If you can see there, this top has a very, very old hexagonal kind of bolt nail. And there's even signs of a previous fixing on both sides there uh, to the top. Beautiful color again and grain. If I turn it round, if you can see here, very, very old cast iron bolts, uh, little bolts that have been put onto the back there like a nut uh, on the reverse. And there's, look, there's more of that wear patination. See, the wood's chipped there at some point, but again, it's taken years for them to wear smooth, etc. Lovely spindles. Um, if I turn it upside here, and we just turn it around a little bit more, you can even see. Can I do it? Yeah, here. Here is the wear from the riders rubbing on the oak. So it's actually worn there and over here, over the years, where that's rubbed and worn through being put up and put down. So, let's just put this thing back up again. What I think I've bought myself is an absolutely fantastic piece of furniture. Uh, I intend to put that into our antique centre, but I'm going to enjoy it for a day or two first. What will I try and sell it at? Broad estimate, 40 to 60, depending how long it perhaps uh, sits there, if I can find the right buyer. It's a fantastic chair for a nursery, for a small room, and as you can probably tell by now, I love it. So uh, do please subscribe down below. Uh, let me know how you're getting on. Do you buy small furniture or are you just a, a cabinet kind of dealer? Do you collect small furniture? What would you put on this? Would it be a doll, a teddy, or in a child's nursery, whatever? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now, and chat back soon.